Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start on my review of uh, Travels with My Aunt by Graham Greene. So this is my reread for the March Rereadathon 2020 prompt. I've been rereading this via audiobook. It was read by Tim Piggott Smith. First thing I noticed is it had very, very posh introduction music. Um, I made a few notes so far, so I'm going to share those, and then I'm going to come back a few days in the future when I've listened to it some more. So um, on the topic of port versus starboard... Uh, the, basically the plot of this novel is that this old dude is probably in his 60s, his mother dies and at the funeral he meets up with his aunt and then him and his aunt end up going travelling and his aunt is this very like cantankerous old lady and um, she's talking about left and right she's like I could never remember my left from right I remember port versus starboard because port is red and red is left which amused me uh, she also said that she never married she merely for 60 years or so had a friend and indeed, um, you know, we get a lot of hints about her past love affairs and stuff. Uh, one of them is actually a little pre pretty cliche black dude who has, um, you know, a lot of the cliche dialogue. It's a little bit racist now, to be honest, but um, there's no ill intent behind it, I don't think. Uh, his name is... What's his bloody name? He's got a weird name. Uh, it's like Douglas or something. It's not that weird. But um, she calls him Wordsworth instead. And, uh, yeah, then we get what happens. Basically, Wordsworth has been investigated by the cops. Uh, the cops think that the ashes of the main character's mum were drugs and raided his aunt. And then eventually they take away the urn and they find cannabis in it. And it's implied that uh, Wordsworth has something to do with it. So that's where we are so far. Okay, I've been listening to some more of the audiobook. Uh, there was a bit where his aunt was on the Guinness and he was surprised by how much she can drink. I think we started that scene when she was on her second pint and I think she might have had at least two more during that. So that was pretty cool. There was a thing where they were talking about Catholics, and uh, I think it was Catholics. And uh, he said, they were doubtful about women's souls, but they were beginning to think that a dog had one. Another character said, uh, television is at its best a vulgar medium, which I think us book readers can kind of agree with. And uh, the black guy, um, what's his name, Wordsworth, there was a joke actually uh, about him, uh, um, about getting his name confused and calling him Coleridge. He had to be there, I guess. Um... But yeah, he was speaking in Gold Coast French, which, um, yeah, I just thought that was cool because I'm just interested in French, French culture, French language, and it's cool to see a variant of it, I guess. I don't know. I still don't really know what that is. I guess like a form of Creole. Okay, some more little Graham Greene quotes for you here. I've just hit about halfway through now. I'm actually hoping to finish this audiobook off today. Uh, I've got some more notes I wanted to share. So one of these, uh, people who like quotations love meaningless generalizations, which then becomes meta because I just quoted that, you know? Uh, his, he asks his aunt, he says, have you no respect for the law? And she says, it depends which law you're referring to. And uh, we had a mention of Palgrave's Golden Treasury as well, which is like a book of uh, poetry. It's quite a well-known one. I think it was first published in like the 1800s or something. And then there are still like, I don't know, it's still in circulation now. I found one in a charity shop and stuff, so. Yeah, that was pretty cool to read about a book that I've read, you know? All right, I'm just checking in with you about Graham Greene. I've listened to a little bit more. I'll actually probably finish watch, uh, listening to it tonight. I'm currently watching a documentary about Lemmy from Motorhead, so I'm going to finish that, listen to some more audiobook, and then maybe watch a documentary about ZZ Top. You don't need to know that, though. The only thing I wanted to add here is um, this line, the dead of the army automatically become heroes like the dead of the church, which I thought was quite interesting. All right, I've got a couple more little things I wanted to mention here. So um, the line, physical violence, like the dentist drill, is seldom as bad as one fears. Having had quite a lot of dental work myself, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, but anyway. Uh, we have a mention of Dr. Mengele being uh, reportedly nearby. I believe they're in South America. Mengele was a famous Nazi uh, sort of scientist slash doctor in the death camps carrying out human experiments and stuff. And uh, we had another great line as well. One's life is governed more by books than by people. It's three books that we learn about love and pain. There was a big old twist at the end, which I don't want to talk about too much here. I had actually forgotten it, so that made it quite, uh, quite touching and quite moving for me, to be honest. Overall, I did really enjoy this reread. I gave it a four out of five. I mean, I always enjoy Graham Greene as one of my favourite authors, and this book reminded me of, of why that is. So there we have it. That's what I thought of Travels with My Aunt by Graham Greene. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you've read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.